Hey guys, it's Saru, and for those that are following me on Discord and social media in general, I'm sorry that I did not stream yesterday. I know I said I would, however, I was making sure that I ran the two dungeons enough to get my feet on the ground, and, well, I did. My team and I ended up having the server first clear of Ruinous Manor in Dracula, so that was pretty fantastic. Plus, I ended up spamming Gilly Glade eight times last night, because I was just... I was just bored. So in this video, as it's going to be rather short, I'm going to give you some tips and a small guide for Gilly Glade. You don't really need a huge guide or 15 minute guide on how to do the dungeon. Honestly, it just explains itself. There are two ways to do this dungeon, and it really depends on how you want it done. If you're doing this dungeon as a priest and mystic, you will receive an extra damage buff so you're not in there for 300 hours. Now the two ways to do this dungeon is to do it mechanically, which is the normal mode of Gilly Glade. Essentially, you go downstairs, you help this nice fella. Basically, you protect them from silly monsters like some Call of Duty Zombies montage. Then afterwards, you protect this beautiful rock man, I call him Jim, and just distract the two guys at the end by pulling aggro and just hitting them and all that jazz. Honestly, it's just boring. Until he gets to 100% health and he's recovering, and he just destroys them himself, so... I mean, that's... that's it. Lastly, you go to the end boss and you just destroy the crystal. Voila. Easy. However, that's honestly the slowest way for me, and I'm a priest, so doing it this way will take you about 10 to 15 minutes, if not more, it depends on you really. Here's the other way, you're gonna go right into the dungeon, go straight to the end, and messages will pop up, thus prompting the dungeon to become Gilly Glade Hard Mode. You'll need to destroy the crystal, and then take this tree looking as big to 20% health, and you're done. It takes me 6 minutes each time to clear it as a priest this way. So, it really just depends on you. So yeah, that's literally it. You'll receive Goldfinger tokens, which you can use to exchange for better inner wear. And if you're lucky on RNG, superior inner wear for your class specifically. You'll need 80 of them just to get a box, so all you have to do is click on them and it'll open the side Goldfinger token shop. Now, apart from Gilly Glade, Ruinous Manor came out yesterday, and boy, did I have fun. Now, you would think I'm being sarcastic, but no, I really did have fun. I love the mechanics, learning new ways to take down certain bosses, and I'm not saying a word on here, because they're not on any guides, so I'm just gonna leave that to myself and my team. And learning the timing for everything was super fun anyway, so. If you're level 65 with item level 417, you're able to do it now and queue for this particular dungeon. I recommend learning it head to toe and running it a lot to learn the hard mode version. I was asked if I would do a dungeon guide for this, and maybe I will. That's up to you guys, let me know if you want a guide in the comments below. I might do one. Maybe it'll be funnier than usual, I don't know. Anyways guys, that's it for this video, and I hope it helped even just a smidge. I promise my priest guide is underway and should be done by Friday. If this helped at all, or you found it funny, I don't know why, I didn't really do any jokes. <laughs> Except me, I'm the, I'm the joke. Or just found it laughable to say the least, share it around, like it, comment below, spread the diabetes. And as always guys, till next time friends.